There is an exclusive report now that's being released, um, information about this report being released by the Washington Post, and it it gets into the, the, the bullshit that certain law enforcement um, put out there that resulted in this massive act of violence against the United States. Um, the report shows that a day before the, uh, the rioters, the Trumpists, stormed the Capitol building, an FBI office in Virginia had issued an explicit internal warning that these filthy extremists were prepared to come to Washington and to commit, once they got there, violence and their word, war. That's according to an internal document that the Washington Post has seen that contradicts completely a senior official's declaration within the FBI, that the FBI had no intelligence indicating anyone at last week's pro-Trump murder riot planned to do harm. I mean, you better consider this now, truth seekers, because it's a clear indication. You've heard of the Oath Keepers, people who are retired police and military or still active duty police and military who have signed on to Christian fascism to the point that they're willing to shit all over their oath that they took when they became a peace officer or a member of the military and align themselves with this murderous son of a bitch, Donald Trump and the Christian fascists. I, I, I think we're being warned here. <laughs> uh, if the warning hasn't come through prior to this uh, uh, riot, but let me go on. It's called a situational information report. And it was approved for release a day before these riot bastards um, attacked the U.S. Capitol. The, the report included individuals sharing a map of the Capitol complex's tunnels. That's how, that's how inside this event was. And it also showed the, the report that the FBI now has possible rally points for these, these murderous fuckers who support Trump to meet up in Kentucky Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and South Carolina, and head for Washington, D.C. in groups. Huh? The uh, document that the Washington Post reviewed says this, quote, As of 5 January 2021, FBI Norfolk received information indicating calls for violence in response to so-called unlawful lockdowns to begin on 6 January 2021 in Washington, D.C., end quote. That's according to the document. An online thread, this is also according to the document, an online thread discussed specific calls for violence to include stating, quote, be ready to fight, Congress needs to hear glass breaking, doors being kicked in, and blood from their Black Lives Matter and Pantifa slave soldiers being spilled. Get violent. Stop calling this a march or rally or a protest. Go there, ready for war. We get our president or we die. Nothing else will achieve this goal. End quote. You understand, don't you? I hate to put it into words because you probably already get it, but war has been declared upon the United States in the same manner that the secessionists declared war in 1861 on the United States. And you know what? There's a thread of similarity that, that, that passes between both events. Racism and this insane fucking Christian fascism. It's still here. In fact, it has grown exponentially since the 1860s. But here it is. Here it is. You have to understand something, truth seeker. 
Uh, I'm not suggesting that people start digging foxholes or, 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 or anything of the sort. Uh, I'm not suggesting that um, uh, you walk around armed up or wear a bulletproof vest, although that might not be a bad idea. What I'm saying is that there is a vast underground army of Christian fascists who are hell-bent on death and destruction now, and nothing is going to stop them except their total, complete defeat. Do you understand that? It's hard for me to understand that. Total and complete defeat and destruction. Or we give up this country. Because they are dedicated to a fascist dictator and a sick fucking religion. And when you put those two together, you've got a pretty much unstoppable force. These son of a bitches probably actually believe that if they die in trying to overthrow the government of the United States, they'll go straight to heaven. I mean, these, these are like the Muslim terrorists. Same fucking thing. Same thing exactly. If they die in the pursuit of infidels and protecting Islam, in this case, Christianity, they go straight to heaven. This is how sick it's become. Now, that term Pantifa, we know it to BLM, Black Lives Matter. Pantifa is a derogatory term for Antifa, that far-left, anti-fascist, unorganized movement who sometimes beat the fuck out of these right-wing extremists. But anyway, even with that information in hand, the unidentified author of this report expressed some concern that the FBI might be encroaching on free speech rights if they prepared themselves for this army of thugs and bums and losers. The Post reports that this warning is the starkest evidence yet of the sizable intelligence failure that preceded this, this riot, which claimed the lives of five people. Although one law enforcement official speaking on conditions of anonymity to avoid disciplinary action, he said the failure was not one of intelligence, but of acting on the intelligence. abso fucking -lutely. Absolutely. Now, intelligence failure. I guess that's the same thing that happened on 9-11. That was an intelligence failure, right? How many intelligence failures do we have to have before we understand that the intelligence communities in this country, for the most part, are there to protect America? But there is a, a, a pack of rats, of slime, of termites who have infiltrated the government. Some of them put there by Bush, some by, by Trump who are determined to eat their way through these intelligence agencies and prevent intelligence like the one, the, the bit I'm discussing with you here, thanks to the Post, from getting out so that people can be prepared. Back to what the Post says. An FBI official familiar with the document said that within 45 minutes of learning about the alarming online conversations... The FBI office in Norfolk wrote the report and shared it with others within the FBI. It was not immediately clear how many law enforcement agencies outside the FBI were told, but the information was briefed to FBI officials at the Bureau's Washington field office the day before the attack. So, the... Uh, God damn. I, just, I, just, I get literally nauseous. I, I mean, just waves of nausea roll over me when I think what these Christian fascists have done over the past 40 years and what they've led us to. Especially with the persona of this filthy bastard Trump. Multiple law enforcement officials have said privately that the level of violence exhibited at the cap Capitol has led, quoting from the Post, has led to difficult discussions within the FBI and other agencies about race, terrorism, and whether investigators failed to register the degree of danger because, are you ready? The overwhelming majority of the participants at the rally were white conservatives fiercely loyal to President Trump. You fucking get this? 
They might add Christian fascists, too. Investigators failed to register the degree of danger because this involved white Christian fascists of the army of Trump. The army of Trump. Those are my words. The document also says this, quoting, Individuals or organizations named in this situational information report have been identified as participating in activities that are protected by the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Their inclusion in this report is not intended to associate the protective activity with criminality or a threat to national security, or to infer that such protective activity itself violates federal law. However, based on known intelligence and or specific historical observations, it is possible the protected activity could invite a violent reaction towards the subject individual or others in retaliation or with the goal of stopping the protective activity from occurring in the first instance. In the event no violent reaction occurs, FBI policy and federal law dictates that no further record to be made of the protected activity. You see what's going on here? This is something I've been talking about for years, and you've been talking about, and, and, and other commentators have been talking about. Fascist, Christians, Nazis, um, slavers, uh, totalitarians, whenever they begin their rise in a democratic society, or one that fancies itself de democratic, they use the protections of that society's constitution in order to commit their crimes, their acts of violence, their perversion and subversion of the constitution behind which they're hiding. It's fucking unbelievable. I have a right to free speech, which means simply that the government cannot tell me what I can and cannot say up to a point the point being advocating death, destruction, insurrection, targeting certain individuals, advocating murder, advocating uh, all sorts of crimes. That is not protected speech. And what was amusing to me the other day is when this filthy Trump son of a bitch started squealing like a castrated pig about how Twitter was violating his freedom of speech. The dumb son of a bitch doesn't understand that a private company can exclude, just like his fucking clubs can exclude anyone they want to. It's when the government tells you what you cannot say, that it becomes a First Amendment issue. This was the conversation the day before this attack by domestic terrorists occurred on the capital of the United States. And you know all the speculation so far? These fucking assholes that had, had the zip ties, they were going to take people hostage, they were going to hang Mike Pence, they were going to kill Nancy Pelosi. That was not idle chatter. These rotten insurgents, these Christian terrorists, had planned exactly that. Down to the point of using war talk evacuate non-combatants and wounded to medical care, people on standby to provide supplies and medical to the front lines. You better take this seriously, truth seekers. Hi, truth seekers, Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, 
you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.